Welcome to the Science Cafe Day, hosted by Egypt Japan University of Science and Technology, supported by the Japanese Embassy at Cairo, Egypt. As part of its efforts to respond to COVID-19 pandemic, EJUST plays an important role in helping to support the development of accurate and reliable tests in Egypt. So, what are the different coronavirus tests, and how can they help? There are two main tests to discuss. The first one we are going to talk about is the PCR-based test. It's the one that can diagnose whether or not you have COVID-19. Well, for the PCR-based test, we're going to be looking for the virus in somebody's nose. And what we do is that we take a swab and they're going to go really far back. And the reason they're going to go far back is that the virus lives way in the back of people's nose. And we want to make sure that we get a good sampling. One of the biggest reasons that a test comes back negative, what we call false negative, is that we don't get enough sampling. So, for context, COVID-19 has something called RNA inside it. RNA is a bit like DNA, but instead of a paired double strand, it only has a single strand. And this is surrounded by a fatty membrane, which is covered in spike proteins that is essentially in all the viruses. So. This virus uses RNA as genetic material, so we want to extract the RNA out. And once we extract that RNA out, we then copy that RNA from RNA into DNA, and that's called reverse transcription. So now if the virus is there, it's in a DNA form. And once it's in a DNA form, we can put it into a PCR reaction. And there we take little things from primers, which are short snippets of DNA, and they match that DNA we are looking for. So if it finds the virus DNA, it should attach to it, and it starts a chemical reaction that we can use to copy the virus. What's going on here is pretty straightforward. You are basically making copies of the virus and multiplying it again and again until you have billions of copies. Then you can see whether your sample looks like COVID-19 or it doesn't. And the great thing about this test is it's really specific and sensitive. It can detect as little as one virus particle just from a swab. The PCR tests are very accurate. When they tell you they find a virus, they found it, and you can believe it. The only problem is it takes quite long time. The second type of test we are going to talk about today is an antibodies test. Antibodies are produced by your body when you are infected by a virus and help your immune system fight off the infection. An antibodies test detects antibodies to the virus using a blood sample. If an antibodies test finds antibodies in the blood, it likely means that the person has been previously infected with the virus. Antibodies tests do not show if you have a current infection. The results from antibodies tests can help us better understand questions about exposure to COVID-19 by helping identify who has been infected and has developed antibodies. If antibodies may provide protection from future infection, who may still be at risk or who may be eligible to donate a part of their blood called convalescent plasma, which may serve as a possible treatment for those who are seriously ill from COVID-19. So if you got lots of the right antibodies in your system for fighting COVID-19, then you probably had COVID-19 and possibly have some level of immunity. Running the test is incredibly fast. You can potentially get results in a matter of seconds. There is still much more we need to do to get out of this crisis. Testing alone won't fix it. We do believe that the only way to get out of a pandemic is through science. And at the moment, the world still needs more resources, more researchers, more researchers and more scientists. At EJUST, we believe that science is the key. Thanks for watching our video today and see you next time.